Hi guys! Welcome back to another Sunday School lesson. I miss you guys very, very much. Leah, Liam, Dawson, Nathan, and Nikolai. Miss you guys so, so, so super much. I can't wait until I can be back in Sunday School with you guys again. And then any other kiddos that are watching, miss you guys too. I can't wait to see you guys. So, today's memory verse that we're going to be working on is Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. John 15, 13. So parents, send that to me and they'll get credit for the verse and we'll be set to go. Now, today I'm going to teach on a lesson that we are going to, we're actually celebrating the holiday that I'm teaching on. And this holiday that we're learning about is Easter. And tomorrow is Easter, Easter Sunday morning. And we're going to find out why we celebrate Easter. I know a lot of times we get excited about seeing Easter Bunny and getting eggs and getting candy and maybe even some money in the eggs. And all those things are super, super exciting. But the reason we celebrate Easter is for one reason. And the reason is, what do we talk about? Why did Jesus come to the earth and be born? Remember we said that he was the savior of the world. Well, in order to be the savior of the world, he had to do something. And what he did was he died on the cross for our sins. Now, it wasn't just an easy death. He didn't just die as soon as he went on the cross. He had to suffer and die. They beat him. They arrested him. They hung him on the cross, and he hung there, and he died on the cross for our sins. He suffered and died for our sins. Every single sin that we've done, Jesus had to die for. And everybody's a sinner. We all have told a lie or done something we weren't supposed to or got mad at our mom or our dad or our brother or our sisters and did something we weren't supposed to do. Jesus had to die for your sin. Now, the punishment for your sin was to die and go to hell. But because Jesus died on the cross, in order to get to go to heaven and be with him, you have to believe he died on the cross and be sorry for those sins that you did and tell him that you're sorry. That's all you have to do to get saved. So today we're going to learn Jesus died on the cross for our sins. But what we celebrate Easter is what Jesus did next. Three days after he died on the cross for our sins, something really, really cool happened. Now, after he died, they said, I want you to take him and I want you to put him in this big stone, this big tomb. And I want you to put him in there and I want you to roll a big stone over the door and put guards at the door to watch him to make sure he doesn't, nobody comes and gets his body or does anything they're not supposed to do. So, they rolled the stone over and the guards stood there to watch it. Well, they went to take care of his body. Well, two women went to take care of Jesus' body on this day. And they were walking and, you know, they were probably thinking, that's going to be a big stone. How are we going to be able to roll the stone to be able to put the stuff on Jesus' body to make it smell good? So, they walked by and they looked and guess what? The tomb door was open and the stone was rolled away. They were like, whoa, and they looked in there, and Jesus' body wasn't in there. And they thought, where could Jesus be? What happened? And they saw that there was somebody in there, and it was an angel. Now, this is what happened. Let's listen to our verses. Now, upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came into the sepulcher, bringing spices which they had prepared, and certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulcher, and they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass as they were much perplexed about, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? This is what the angel said. Why are you looking for the living among the dead? They said, He is not here, but he is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee? They said, Girls, Jesus isn't here. Remember whenever he said that he was going to come and die on the cross for our sins? And on the third day, he was going to rise again? Well, just like he said, Jesus doesn't break his promises. That's what's happened. So on the third day, Jesus was dead for three days. On that third day, he rose again and he left the tomb. And that's why we celebrate Easter, because Jesus rose again from the dead. Now, let's think. Do you think if you're super, super excited and you find out something like this, what are you going to want to go do? They wanted to go tell people. So they went running back and they were telling everybody in town. And they went and they told two guys. So we're going to talk about two of Jesus' disciples. And they went and they told them. And Peter and John said, well, we're going to go see and we're going to find out for ourselves. We don't believe this is true. We know you guys want it to be true. But it's not true. So we'll go find out for ourselves. 
So they went on and they went to see for themselves. Now, John ran a little bit faster than Peter did. And he went running down to the tomb and he was looking inside and he's like, whoa, just like they said, it's true. And then a little while later, Peter got down there and he looked and he said, whoa, it is the truth. Jesus isn't here anymore. He's risen from the dead. This is crazy. Just like he said it would happen, it happened. Now listen to our verse here. It says, Then cometh Simon Peter, following him, and went into the sepulcher, and seeth the linen clothes lie, and the napkin that was about his head, not lying with the linen clothes, but wrapped together in a place by itself. So when they looked in there, not only was the tomb empty, but all of his clothes that he was wrapped up in, and the napkin that was over his face, was folded up neatly and laying on the bed where Jesus was at. So Jesus had got up, folded up his clothes, laid them there, and he just left. Just like he said he would do on that third day. He was going to die on the cross for our sins. And three days after he was dead, he was going to rise again. Now, had Jesus never rose from the dead, we wouldn't be able to be saved. But Jesus can't tell a lie. And Jesus said that he was going to do that. So he did that. He did it all for your sin. Every single sin that you've ever done, Jesus thought, you know, Miss Faith's a sinner. And she's going to need to be saved one day. So I'm going to die on the cross for her sins. And he was thinking of you too. So when he died on the cross and he rose again three days later, we can now be saved. And he did that, and that is why we celebrate Easter. So tomorrow, whenever we're all excited and we're eating our big chocolate bunnies or whatever we're doing, let's remember the reason we're celebrating Easter is because Jesus died on the cross and he rose again on the third day. Now, let's get into this story. Look, Michael, I tied my shoes all by myself, Emily exclaimed. Hmm. I don't believe it. I didn't see you tying them. Michael looked at the shoes. You had help from Mommy. Emily stamped her foot. I did not. You weren't there to see it. Exactly, Michael declared as he walked away. I didn't see it, so I don't believe it. At recess, Emily went running to find Michael. Hey, Michael, we had a real fireman come to our class this morning, Emily shouted. No, you didn't, Michael said. I didn't see any fireman. Where was the truck? Why didn't I hear sirens? I don't believe you, Emily. This time, Emily was mad. That's because you're not in my class. He didn't come to your class. That evening at dinner, Mommy asked, Did anything special happen at school today? Sydney Marshall brought fancy pink cupcakes for her birthday, Emily said excitedly. No, she didn't, Michael interrupted. I didn't hear anyone singing happy birthday. I didn't get a cupcake. Why on earth would you say that, Daddy asked. Why would you doubt your sister in telling the truth? You aren't in Emily's class. How would you know what happens and doesn't happen? Michael sighed. I heard someone say on TV that you should only believe what you see with your own two eyes. Daddy shook his head. You sound like the disciples when they first heard that Jesus had risen from the dead. What do you mean? asked Michael. The women told the disciples that the stone had been rolled away and that an angel said he has risen. But the disciples thought that the women were telling tales, Daddy explained. They would not believe what they had not seen. So John and Peter ran to the tomb. The Bible says that when John went in and saw the empty tomb, he saw and believed. In John 20, 29, Jesus said, Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believed. Michael, asked Mommy, Have you ever seen Jesus with your own eyes? Well, of course not. Michael suddenly realized what Mommy was saying. I guess you don't believe that Jesus ever lived, said Mommy. And you don't believe he died on the cross for your sin or that he rose from the dead? You're just like the disciples. Michael was ashamed. I do believe, Mommy. I believe Jesus is God's son. Even though I've never seen him, and I believe he died for my sins, I know he's alive. I was wrong. That's called faith, Daddy added. Faith is putting our trust in what God says is true, even though we cannot see it. Faith is believing what God's word, the Bible, tells us. Michael turned to Emily. I'm sorry, Emily. I should have believed the things you told me. I accused you of saying things that weren't true. Will you forgive me? Sure, Michael. Emily smiled. Now, Michael didn't believe things unless he saw things. Can we see Jesus? No, but we have to believe that he died on the cross for our sins and that he loved us. And that on the third day, he rose from the dead. And believing that is called faith. And that's one of the things we have to do to get saved. We have to believe that he died on the cross for our sins. And we have to be sorry for our sins. So even though we can't see Jesus, and we didn't see him die, and we didn't see him rise from the dead, we have to believe it and have faith that he did that for us. Now, we're going to sing a song.
and I actually asked Leah what song she wanted to sing this week. So if any of you kids have a song that you want to sing that we haven't saw sang yet, then tell your mommy and daddy to text it to me, and I'll sing it next time, okay? So we're going to sing. Naaman went to the river to dip. Naaman went to the river to dip. Naaman went to the river to dip. And he dipped, and he dipped, and he dipped, dip, dip. All his sins were washed away. All his sins were washed away. All his sins were washed away. When he dipped, and he dipped, and he dipped, dip, dip. All right. I miss you guys like crazy. And hope you guys have an awesome Easter Sunday. And don't forget why we celebrate Easter. Because Jesus died on the cross and he rose again three days later for our sins. So we could get saved and go to heaven to be with him. So that's a pretty awesome thing. We need to make sure we remember it. So let's pray and you guys pray with me. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you once again. Thank you for all you've done and all your many blessings. Thank you for being so very good to us. And thank you for what Easter means, Lord. Please help us not to forget what you did for us and that you died on the cross for our sins and you rose again the third day so that we could go to heaven and be with you if we believe in you and are sorry for our sins. Thank you for all you've done and everything that you gave us. Please help all this sickness to go away so we can be together again soon because I sure do miss Sunday school and I sure do miss my kiddos, Lord. Thank you for all you've done and all of your many blessings. I love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.